You said, I'm going to lead a team at some point and I'm going to be me. When you said, I'm going to be me, what did that mean then? And how does that relate to what it means now? Raheem Morris is the definition of a leader of men. This dude is the real deal. That is, uh, to me, one of the bigger reasons why he got the head coaching job. But to tell Falcon fans that we're going to go out there and do because of our football character, being accountable, being disciplined, being coachable, being dependable, I think those are the things that's got to get us going in the right direction. Raheem is one of those guys, when you sit down with him, you go, you're a head coach. Yes. Just when you talk with him, presence. the way that his energy, his presence, the way that he communicates, I think the joy that he has about ball. I don't think we can really focus on who was in the process, what you were doing in the process. It's just like going to play a game. Right? When you go play those games, it, it really doesn't matter who's across those lines. He resonates with guys in the locker room. He's a real ball coach. He can coach at the highest level. You don't know me very well, but I'm a driven person. I'm willing to fight any obstacle put in front of me. You got to be the best of your profession. So do you not feel like you're the best of your profession? I'm the best at what I do. Where's your job then? The opportunity will come. Right. I'm telling you. is everything. Everything. Even if you a decoy, you a beast. Don't you ever forget that. Let's shake this crowd up, man, and let's, uh, let's have some fun. Well, Laura, the Atlanta Falcons are planning to hire Raheem Morris, who is the interim head coach in Atlanta. He's the Rams defensive coordinator, but they are moving forward in that direction. We get another hire from the NFC South with Raheem Morris getting that job in Atlanta. It is the beginning of a new era as the Falcons officially introduce Raheem Morris as their new head coach. When you come back and you get that feel, you see some familiar faces, you see some new pieces, some things that they added, some people that's come in place that's been a part of this. That exciting feeling to lead this team, to lead this organization, to be back into this community again, Something that's very special. His players absolutely love him. You want to talk about a player's coach, that is what you're going to get with Ra, or you may hear Coach Ra. So I think this is a slam dunk for the Atlanta Falcons. The Falcons got it right. Atlanta did the right thing. To say Raheem Morris is a loved and respected football coach is a grave understatement. And I think he's going to be extremely successful and a perfect fit for the city and the team. This job comes with pressure, and it comes with pressure that we're all built for. You got to embrace that. You got to embrace those moments. You got to want those moments. We got to live for those moments. There is no doubt Raheem will be ready for this job, understands what it takes to be a head coach. Now it's time to get the work. Are we starting right now? Was that a, like? Oh, no, not yet. Yeah. I was about to say, I didn't get my 3 2 1. <laughs> not the feelings that overcome me, it's really the people that you're with. And seeing what it did to my family, seeing what it did to my wife, and my parents, and just my kids, and everybody coming back into the stadium, and really just meaning so much to those guys was probably the most important part for me. And building the roster and building the team just made it really exciting. And when you looked at it across the board, you thought, what a team to go back to, what a time to go back. Um, what a great time to be a part of this community. What a great time to be a part of what they can do and what, how far we can go. And you just got so excited, right? Let's go build on it. Let's go form this culture how we want it. Let's go get our football character right. Let's go put our pillars in place. Let's go win a championship. What I think the hiring of Raheem Morris shows you is that the Falcons were not looking for a change in philosophy. They were looking to enhance the philosophy that they already have set. Right. And that is what I feel like this hire of Raheem Morris says. I, I do think that there is a re recipe for success in that when you have a figurehead as much as, as anything. Through that search, it was uh, very clear that there was one person that really stuck out, and that's Raheem Morris. And it, it was his infectious energy, his natural leadership, his charisma, his football instincts and intelligence, but also his collaborative mindset and the way he puts people around him and, and listens and empowers people. He makes you feel better about yourself when you're done talking to him. That permeates your team. Your team feels that. You feel better about yourself as a player, as a person, because being out around Raheem, he's got an electric personality. Of course, this guy has been well deserving of a head coaching job for years now, for years. It has been a long running crime that Raheem Morris didn't get a shot before this shot. It's been 13 years since he was an official head coach. The overall maturity of the profession is really what you gotta lean on. The, the, the overall growth. Since Tampa, I've dedicated really my professional development to helping whoever I work for at the time. You spend the rest of your time and the rest of your coaching career, you finish that figuring out when you're gonna be ready for that moment. And this is the moment. I'm the highest mountain, I'm on top now. 
he talked about being the first black head coach in this history of this organization. The thing that stuck out to me was he humanized himself with what that meant to him. He said, yeah, it's about the guys that's gonna come after me. But then he, he looked at his son and said, it's about my son understanding how important this is. And for any dad who's got kids or got a son and you understand, he's watching everything you do. And the fact that he can have that title as something that he can always, you know, say, hey, your dad did this and now he, he living up to it. That's not about me, that's about us, all of us. Because it was more about the people before me, it's more about the people after me, you know. And particularly, the little one sitting over there, Jalen, right? It's more about him, particularly in this city, right? The, 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 the epicenter of black history, the epicenter of just pride. Make no mistake about it, right? The community, supports us on Sundays to go out and win a game. And it's our job to support this community in a bigger way than you can even imagine. So I, I understand the importance of that as well. We knew we needed going into it. We casted a wide net and it was just made so clear again to all of us that this was the right head coach for us right now and we're really excited. Uh, being with the Rams, winning that Super Bowl with them, he has earned this opportunity, Raheem Morris, the next head coach of the Falcons. But now coming back, and being a part of the collaboration that I, the shared vision, the all the things you want to do with Terry. He's just an awesome man, but an amazing X and O coach, understands how mm -hmm. to relate with players, and he's been there before. I will remind everybody, the man's got two Super Bowl titles. Somebody asked him, do you feel like you kind of got slighted by not getting the job in 20 when you took over as, as the interim coach? He said, what I took that as is I needed to be better. I needed to go get better. He's a better coach today than he was when he left. It is definitely a mentality for every reality. The mentality that you bring to any situation, you have to believe before it ever comes true. And before they walk into any game, he's gonna understand psychologically, he's gonna have his team ready to go. There's only one team at the end of every season that's ever gonna be happy. And there is no bigger thought in my head than to watch Arthur Blank hold up the Lombardi Trophy in front of this city, this town, these people, the people that work with us. I can't imagine that, and we're gonna make it happen. Raheem was born to be a head coach. That's what he was born to do. We're excited to welcome Raheem Morris here as our next head coach. Why not us? Why not?